It's so important that we do not give our power away by perceiving ourselves as victims. Once you consider yourself a victim, what you're saying is, I don't have power over my life anymore. Something or someone else does. And so um, you are accepting that you are powerless and they are powerful in relation to you. And this is what happens when you do not accept being a victim. Not I'm a victim of it, what we're going to do about it? One of the, the great um, problems and, and, and the way that the human psyche has been manipulated systematically on purpose is to symbolically and literally stop different parts of the brain talking to each other. Because if they don't, you see random everywhere. But when there is communication, you see two things. First of all, you see how things connect. You see uh, how the dots become patterns. You see how the pixels become pictures. And it's in the pictures and the patterns that the, the truth lies and the revelations lie. But you also see the contradictions. See, if, you, if you're seeing a random event and a random event and you're basically seeing them in and of themselves, then you don't see the contradictions. But when you are communicating, uh, you see what the government says here and you see what the government says there or some other authority or other. And you go, hold on, if that's true, that's true, right, you? Well, that can't be true then, can it? And, you, and, and what we've seen in this whole in pandemic on ex, of extraordinary proportions, talk about the bigger the lie, the more we'll believe it, is a tidal wave of contradictions and ridiculous demands, which when you are comparing them and seeing that contradiction, you see crystal clearly that it's a scam. And I'll give you just, just one example. I could give you Legion. We um, have gone through these weeks and we have been told that if you go out from your house arrest in ways that the government doesn't agree with, you are killing people. You're horrible. Um, and all kind of uh, crime of crimes. You go and protest about house arrest. You're killing people, media, government. And then overnight, thousands of people are shoulder to shoulder in protests. And suddenly it's not such a big deal anymore. And when you see the connections and what the common denominators of all this are, you see why this, on the face of it, ridiculous contradiction actually makes sense. The common denominator of everything that happens in the world is does it serve the agenda of this global cult that I've been exposing for 30 years, or does it not serve the agenda? If it serves the agenda, it is supported it is not banned, it is not suppressed, it is promoted in the media, and it is allowed to happen, indeed encouraged to happen. If it does not promote or support the agenda, indeed challenges it, then it's not supported, it's suppressed, it's silenced, it's demonized. So, the agenda is served by people acquiescing to house arrest, and to doing what the government tells them to do in fine detail with regard to this pandemic. It is not served by people protesting against that. And so that is demonized, suppressed, etc. 
But the foundation of the few controlling the many at any time in human history, it's a fundamental foundation of everything. You must divide and rule the many. It serves the agenda of divide and rule to have people under house arrest and everyone kept apart. It serves them with social distancing where everyone is kept apart, divide, divide. Uh, it serves them to have people wearing masks, which means that the human uh, discourse and interaction is destroyed. But hold on a second. It also serves the agenda of divide and rule to have massive racial division. What, is, what has happened, well, almost out of nowhere, since these, um, these protests and riots began? Uh, it has driven people apart. It is a dividing society. Now that serves the agenda. And so social distancing, masks, house arrest, is followed by no social distancing in the riots and the protests, but because both serve the agenda of divide, you have this apparent contradiction of social distancing imposed and then social distancing completely ignored. It's not a problem. But there's a common denominator between the two. They both serve the agenda of dividing and ruling the population. And this was captured so perfectly in one of the most ludicrous documents I've ever seen. And it was in the last week when about a thousand doctors and uh, medical people and others signed a letter when the protests and the, the riots began. And they said, these protests, brackets, including riots, should not be stopped because of the danger of the infectious uh, nature of because it's more important that these protests take place and be allowed to take place than what they claim is an infectious disease. I don't accept that, but they do. And in this same letter they said, but this does not mean there should be a permissive attitude and acceptance of other protests, particularly, it said, protests against stay-at-home orders. So in that one letter, you had this ridiculous contradiction that it's, it's okay to protest without social distancing, but only if you protest here against this, but other protests, it's not, it, 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 it's still dangerous. And you think that is crazy, that crazy. How can they justify that? Serves the agenda, serves the agenda. That, that's what's going on. Um, and so in this year of extraordinary happenings, we now have the first woke virus. The first one in human history, a woke virus that says, if you protest against this, I'll leave you alone. But if you protest against that, I'm coming for you. And of course that's ludicrous, but you've got to see these, this, this common denominator. And if people take this and look at the world from this perspective, the common theme is does it serve the agenda or does it not? They will see across the great spectrum of human society how what is allowed and encouraged and promoted serves the agenda uh, and what is suppressed, demonized and prevented challenges the agenda. It's it's so simple, and that's why on the face of it, we're seeing madness. But if you come here, there's method in the madness.